that's better. Following 2K's tweet yesterday, big news has dropped. We're finally a short gameplay trailer and also some player testing with content creators and also a big 2K event that got hosted. So let's look at the new gameplay trailer. I'm gonna drop it to you now. Why are you still here? See, me personally, yeah, I'm not one to nitpick, but like, my head is not miniature sized. So knowing that, why can my head fit in between the player's toes and the baseline? But no, I've seen people around social media, on Reddit, on the Discord, poking like fun at this. Really and truly, this is not a big deal at all. It's such a small part of the game. If, if in fact the player is serving on a different court, I don't mind, as long as the gameplay is where it should be at, it's on the same level as Topspin 4 and the prior versions, then I, I can't complain really. This could be an easy fix that they sort out in a few patch updates or something like that. But anyway, other than that, the trailer seems very, very smooth. I'm watching it again now and although there's not a lot there, I still feel like that the animation, the graphics look really crisp, really good, which is nice. If we pause it there, we see you can see some sponsorships. Skipping it a bit more, we obviously see a Wilson. Um, ball carrier there. I wonder if these tennis balls are actually real balls and if they are I wouldn't mind the little set I'm not gonna lie they look cold. Um, the one thing is that the crowd don't look too active they look a bit they, they look a bit stale but obviously this court here looks like a practice court or not really like a main or maybe like a small event. We can also see are these birds moving? Hold on. The bird the birds move. That's pretty cold. This could suggest that there might be dynamic weather in the game. During some tennis games, it goes from night to day. That sometimes changes the court temperature, which affects, which affects the game entirely. Looking at the tweet that 2K made right above the video, it says, serving up a big month ahead with eyes. These eyes look a bit suspicious to me, not gonna lie. What could this mean? Who knows? I think that what this big news could be, it could be obviously a full trailer, possibly even a cover athlete, which will hopefully will be revealed on the 12th. People in the comments here comment on the graphics. Graphics don't really, I don't really care about graphics that much. With a t the, the, the issue with tennis games for the past, what, 13 years, is that the gameplay has been complete. i say it again, the gameplay has been terrible, man. So. Even if the graphics, are, they can bring out PS2 graphics, but if the gameplay, if I can see, if, if, if the gameplay is top notch, that's all that matters. That's what should be the main focus here. So graphics, yeah, nah, man. But yeah, the comments are looking a bit feisty, not gonna lie, but I feel like we just got to be patient. It's been 14 years since the game last come out. So it, even if the game comes out, it's not perfect. Give them time, man. Making a perfect game like this these days is not easy. I feel like even if the game was not up to scratch straight away or, or the marketing's a bit weird, let them do what they want to do, man. Give them time, give them space, and let's see what they deliver, man. But I feel like right now, judging by these tweets, by these comments, I feel like it's just trust issues because these days, games have not delivered you think of ea with, with their game not gonna lie 2k with the nba series has been a bit mid other games like call of duty they're they've not been delivering for the past what like four four five years now so i understand the like the sort of um the paranoia the the the, the fear that, that this game might not be what they want it to be but let's just for now slow down and just put our faith into hangar 13 they've produced great games over the years so let's just leave them to it and let's just see what the gameplay is like what people say about the player testing and when we get hands on the game eventually let's see what it's like especially you're reckless Yesterday there was a big event, there was a big top spin 2k25 creators event, a lot of big names around the tennis scene and also some celebrities as well were at but they're posing taking pictures at the um, at this panel. Wait is that who I think it is? Bro this guy is the reason why my channel is called Shots, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah the top spin event looked beautiful, unfortunately they didn't invite me. Um, perhaps next time they might, you know, send me a little DM, but we'll see.
they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. Also, popular tennis star Stefan Titsipats, Titsi, Tishi, Tishi Pass, Titsipats, fuck. As no, I, I promise, like, and even even it's it, it was it's been a weird these past few months. Big tennis star Stefan, Stefan T also seen taking flicks around the panel as well. This could mean that he definitely knows about the game and he might be, and he's probably going to be in the game as well, which is good to see. A big tennis star is going to be included. I haven't seen the I haven't seen any leaks about rosters yet, but it's good to see that big popular tennis names in the game. I would assume the big stars will be in there. We'll see what happens in the coming days. So as a player testing then, I haven't heard any real big news yet. I've only seen this tweet from the market manager of 2K. He sent a little picture here. I think, I think, is that a TV screen on my bugging? Yeah, it's gotta be. That's a TV screen, surely, right? Yeah, that's a TV screen. This means that there's gonna be some player testing. In terms of release dates then, this should mean that 2K is releasing this game perhaps sooner than we first thought. You, if you know me, I like to look at patterns and look at trends. 2K have just released the latest version of their WWE series. And if you look at their sort of marking pattern upon when they released the game, when they started um, doing these little marketing teasers, they first announced a new 2K24 on January 17th, the cover athlete on the 22nd. So, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. five days later, done a little teaser trailer on that same day and then then a full gameplay trailer about two weeks after that and announced that the game will be released a month later in March. So in terms of release dates of Top Spin 2K25 then, we're judging by what they've done literally a second ago. It seems that a release date coming on the 12th may not actually happen. It may be just like another gameplay, an another snippet gameplay trailer urging people to pre-order the game and also releasing a cover athlete. Then after that announcement on the 12th, they made them release the full trailer with a release date, possibly a week after that, while Indian Wells is still running. Possibly they might release it on the final most eyes on tennis at that point. Then follow if they follow a similar pattern, that release date would then be a month and some change from that point. If if if, I'm, if my predictions are right, I'm thinking that the game might be released, may be released late April to early May. Because that also is, I think, around when the French Open starts. So maybe they're positioning it around that point when second Grand Slam of the year gets underway. One thing that's worrying me is that this game is called 2K25. And 2K25 is a long way away. So what this could mean is a bit fishy. The worst case scenario is that this game is going to be released late in the year. Late in the year, like October, November, September, around then. If, I, if that gets released, I'm gonna have to end the channel. Because that's too long. Or maybe Call of Duty 2K25 gives the game sort of a lot of longevity. Or maybe 2K not planning to release this game every year like other games. As they're bringing the series back, maybe this game is just to test the waters to see the interest. If this game is a success, they may maybe release the game not next year, but the year after that. That's what I'm thinking. I think they just named it 25 to give it this longevity to push it through um, this year, the next year. Because calling it 25 makes you think that it's based on, it's going to be based on the 25 season, which is a year from now, right? So anyway, guys, please write that in the comment section. What's going to happen in the coming days? You think I'm right? You think I'm wrong? Let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, basically rounds off today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Um, I'll be posting whenever news drops. As I said before, it will be here. So don't forget to subscribe, like, all of that stuff. And yeah, man, keep it real, keep it positive, and we'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Who knows?